Hello and welcome to News Now for January 12th, 2023. I'm Thomas LeCavalli. And I'm Tyler Demick. And we have plenty of news for you today, starting with our top story. Former, Bo <laughs> Former Pope Benedict XVI's funeral on January 5th marked something that has never happened before in the 20th century old Catholic Church. Pope Benedict's resignation in 2013 was the first resignation of a pope in over 600 years. The papal funeral usually occurs between the pope's death and the election of his successor. The last pope to resign, Celestine V, was denied a papal funeral by his successor. So Benedict's funeral was the first papal funeral with a sitting pope present at his predecessor's rites. Recently, there has been a spike in immigrants in Florida's Lower Keys as an estimated 500 people arrived at the shore. Federal and local sources are being used to manage the influx of people. Many citizens have considered this a source of criticism for the federal government's immigration plans. This has been the highest number of immigrants in decades due to the crises in South America. Kevin McCarthy has come out and said that he is ready to be Speaker of the House. This has been the longest vote in 163 years, but finally, after four long days and 15 ballots later, the final decision has been made. The House may now proceed to regular order for the 118th Congress to begin, as Kevin McCarthy has officially been elected to be our Speaker of the House. McCarthy has said the first piece of legislation the House will take up is a repeal of a part of the Inflation Reduction Act that allocated funding for 87,000 new IRS agents. In the past year, a group of men had a plan to kidnap the governor of Michigan, but got caught in the scheme of planning it. Recently, one of the men got their sentences, and the time may be shocking. The man who was plotting to kidnap the governor was given a 16-year sentence. This is one of the longest sentences served for a federal and domestic terrorism case. On Tuesday, December 20th, it was announced that Michigan's Attorney General, Dana Nessel, will sue Domtar Industries for putting toxic chemicals into their paper. Domtar has been putting PFAs into their paper since the 1980s, which can cause cancer, liver damage, decreased fertility, and more to the human body. PFAs can also spread through the environment as they don't decompose. As the Domtar Mill in Port Huron closed in 2020, the 140,000 cubic yards of waste tainted with PFAs could have caused many health problems in Michigan, since the composting plant drains via Bunce Creek to the St. Clair River. Port Huron is hosting the International Silver Sticks Tournament for 2023, where there will be games played every weekend in January. The first game starts on January 5th at Glacier Point Ice Complex and at Mc the McMoran Place. Several of the best youth hockey teams from Canada and the United States compete at this tournament. Silver Sticks is an iconic event that the city looks forward to every year. This tournament brings many people into the area and is an important economic event for Port Huron. Local businesses and restaurants downtown welcome all of Silver Sticks fans and players. Man, that Silver Sticks tournament is really nice for the businesses in Port Huron. Oh yeah, definitely. Hopefully I can go up there and catch a game or two. Oh yeah. I mean, the closest place to us is probably Great Glacier Point, so oh, yeah. not that far, Dove Road. So. Mm -hmm. Well, now that we're on the top of, of sports, let's go to Jacob with some sports news. Thanks guys. Starting off with a heart-wrenching story. Recently, there's been a tragedy in professional sports during a Monday night football game. Buffalo Bills safety DeMar Hamlin suffered cardiac arrest after getting hit in the chest and collapsing on the field against a game with the Cincinnati Bengals. The injury was so bad that Monday's game was postponed and will not be resumed, but both teams will proceed for the playoffs. DeMar Hamlin remains in critical condition with signs of improvement. Now, in the D. The Detroit Red Wings have jumped up this season. Despite Detroit being known as Hockey Town, our team isn't what you'd picture, sitting 12th in the Eastern Conference with 16 wins and 15 losses. Yet, they are still doing better than they have in previous seasons, and we'll see what happens in the next few weeks. Now, diving into the college scene. On Monday, January 9th, 2023, the college football championships were held. The, co the two competing teams were the TCU Horned Frogs and the Georgia Bulldogs. Both of the competing college football teams played very hard. As both played with their best ability, Georgia ended up pulling off the win. The Georgia Bulldogs won the championships, scoring 65-7. to In more local news, the Marysville High School varsity girls basketball team played their holiday tournament against Meridian High on December 30th. Both teams made this memorable game 
by Marysville only winning by two points, making the final score 40-38, to ruining the Meridian's undefeated season, making Marysville now have six wins this season. We'll be back to you with more news now after this break. Drownings are the number one cause of accidental death for young children. Simple safety steps are the best way to prevent these tragedies. Make sure kids learn how to swim. Designate an adult water watcher to watch kids in and around water. Save the phone calls and texts for when the kids are out of the water. Properly fence all pools with fences at least four feet high and with self-closing, self-latching gates. When above ground pools aren't in use, remove the ladders. When pools aren't in use, cover them. Teach kids to stay away from drains. And if a child is missing, check the pool or spa first. Consider the steps you take, then add a few more. Because you never know which pool safety step will save a life. Until it does, simple steps save lives. To learn some new ones, visit PoolSafely.gov. Welcome back to News Now. We'll continue this newscast with some more news. Thomas, I heard you have a very interesting story about a musician comeback. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. A musician by the name of Justin Mills lost everything and came back on top. According to Salive.com, this is because back in 2021, Justin's basement apartment was flooded by Hurricane Ida, destroying everything he owned. Justin has said looking back at the losses, they were just distractions because after he lost all of his items, he had nothing to focus on except music. Eventually, after starting from scratch and working multiple jobs, he became the co-owner of Stadium BK Music Studio in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. In northern Texas, twin sisters were not only born on different days, but in different years. One twin was born on New Year's Eve at 11.55, being the last baby to be born at the hospital in 2022. The other baby was born on New Year's Day at 12.01 a.m. and was the first baby to be born at the hospital in 2023. Some question the parents' reactions to this, but Kelly Joe and Cliff Scott say they love it and think it's super fun and hilarious. Man, that civil and rivalry will never be like let down. That's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. One day and then next day. And like, hey, at least they have different <laughs> birthdays. Oh, yeah. Now that we're on the topic of interesting things, we have plenty of interesting things happening over at the high school. Elena, tell us more. Thanks, guys. Our winter snow coming dance is approaching fast. Scheduled for January 20th, tickets are, will be available in the main office for $10 per ticket. It is a semi-formal dance, similar to homecoming. Guest passes are also available in the main office until January 17th at 3.30 p.m. Moving into a more professional school event, MHS is proudly presenting Shrek the Musical to our school's theater program. Shrek the Musical will be presented February 24th through February 26th, then also starting up again on March 3rd through March 5th. Students who have been chosen have already gotten their roles and continue to practice and learn each day. Everyone has a good chance to experience the skill set and work within the theater program. Lastly, we have a fun event for people participating and watching. An exciting time of year is here with winter sports where Marysville High School and Mr. Guazala are looking for individuals who want to be a part of the Blue Water Connection Special Olympics as a unified partner. This event is running from March 17th to 18th in Grand Rapids and the event is an all expense paid overnight trip. The program pairs students from different schools, districts, and, with, and without intellectual ill abilities to help promote in conclusion and acceptance. This program is a great step towards supporting all people in the sport by providing a place where people can have fun. We'll be back after this quick break. Social Security is with you through life's journey from birth to retirement. As your life changes year to year, so do your needs. For over 80 years, Social Security has helped to meet your needs and is committed to improving access to the services that make a difference in your life. Today, you can verify your earnings, Estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, manage your benefits, and even change your address, all from the comfort of your home. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. 
Hello and welcome back to News Now. While we have plenty of news regarding the current world, let's look towards the future with some technology news with David. Thanks guys. NASA has been working on developing a telescope to help protect Earth from possible asteroid disasters. A new NEO surveyor is set to hit space in 2028 and will travel millions of miles in hopes of finding any asteroid that may pose a threat to Earth. This telescope has hopes to find approximately 90% of asteroids that are 460 feet or larger within 30 million miles of Earth. This, there is no rush in sending the NEO surveyor to space as NASA has found no asteroids that pose threats to Earth for the next 100 years. Driving into the next story, in the world of electric cars there are many ups and downs. Almost everybody has heard of the revolutionary automotive brand Tesla. Just last year alone, Tesla had, had to recall over 40,000 cars for the loss of power steering, causing the stock overall to drop by 4%. So if you have a 2017-2022 Tesla Model S or Model X, make sure to keep an eye out. Powering you up into the next story, the start of 2023 brings the new te technological ideas that are presented in the Consumer Electronics Show, one of the most influential exhibits that display the latest electronic concepts, as well over 3,200 exhibits featured this year. Many familiar innovations will be seen, such as the latest computers and phones from producers such as Apple and Google. Some of the more bizarre and theoretical prototypes will be tested at this conference, such as the addition of adding the ability to smell a program sense during virtual reality experiences. Innovations can certainly be deemed practical or even strange at first, but can end up being useful for certain circumstances. Back to you guys. Thanks, David. Man, that's crazy that Tesla, such like a big brand, has such like big flaws. Yeah, it's crazy, especially how expensive those cars are. Oh yeah, definitely uh, you break your wallet. Mm -hmm. Now with new technology, we go over to Elaine or Gracie with uh, some entertainment news. Thanks guys. With the new release of James Cameron's Avatar The Way of the Water grossing a massive 1.4 billion, Cameron still needs 600 million worldwide to break even. After waiting 13 years for the new release, many people were surprised by how much Avatar 2 has produced. The release of the hit movies estimated to make good revenue in the couple of weeks to come. Cameron's franchise could gross $2 billion. Now going into the music industry, here are some popular concerts that are coming up that you may want to go to. Ed Sheeran and Khaled are performing in Ford Field, Detroit on July 15, 2023. The next big band is the Goo Goo Dolls, the Big Night Out Tour at Freedom Hill, Sterling Heights. This event will take place on August 19, 2023. Blink-182 is also having a tour and is coming to Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. They will be performing on May 9, 2023. If you would like to go to these events, make sure to get your tickets fast. Now jumping into Hollywood, Marvel is looking to have an awe-inspiring year in the entertainment industry for 2023 as they plan to release many movies and new TV shows on Disney+. Marvel will first release Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania in February, followed by Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in May. And many movies throughout the rest of the year will be released, like Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, The Marvels, and Kraven the Hunter. Marvel will also be adding TV shows on Disney+, Plus, like Marvel's Moon Girl, Devil Dinosaur, Secret Invasion, Echo, and X-Men 97. Do you think they will live up to their high expectations in 2023, or will they crumble under the pressure? 2023 is going to be an exciting year when it comes to entertainment. I'm sure people can't wait for these events. Back to you guys. Thanks, Gracie. It seems like we're going to have a, uh, like a ton of great Marvel movies this year, especially oh, yeah. the Ant-Man movie and the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll take my friends to the theater and watch some. Yeah, me too. Well, that's all the news we have for today. I'm Thomas LeCavalier. And I'm Tyler Demick. For M6, your hometown station.